So I'm just driving around now. I love doing this when I go to a place that I've never been before. And look at Lake Mead. Look at that. That's a really a beautiful, expansive view of Lake Mead. That's very cool. I'm driving around looking at Lake Mead from this hilltop vantage point in Boulder, Nevada. Look at the lake down there. So I was driving up here and they've got these historical signs in places. So this is what that used to look like before Hoover Dam was put in place. How cool is that? I'm in Boulder. I just went and checked one of the spaces, one of the places to park. It's a little conspicuous, so I'm checking out my other location, which is in an industrial area. Oh, there's a truck. Yeah. I hate it when I go into these dips and it rocks the RV. spot right there where that semi is, is where I wanted to park. Dang it. Right there. And I can't park behind it. Dang it, dang it. That's where I wanted to park. So I will drive up a little bit further and see. has a bit of a slope to it. I saw this road on the map. That is on a real slope. This might work. Kind of a big street, but this might work. I decided to come here before going all the way to Vegas just because I hadn't been here. And it's actually right on the way. So I thought, I looked on the map, I looked on Google Maps and I thought, oh, there, there might be a couple of interesting things here. I used to live in Las Vegas many years ago and I never came up here. And it turns out that this is actually kind of an interesting town. Just within a hop, skip and a jump of where I'm at, uh, there's the downtown, the original historic downtown area. Home of Hoover Dam. So this is one of the original turbines in the dam. Hoover Dam Turbine Runner. This Castile Turbine Runner, which is a 14.2 feet in diameter and weighs over 34 tons, powered the N7 generator at Hoover Dam power plant from 1944 to 1982. The function of this turbine runner is to convert the force of falling water delivered through the penstock pipes to rotating energy which is then utilized by the generator in producing hydroelectric energy. Cool. Check these out. <laughs> There's a Darth Vader statue there. Elvis. <sighs> Darth Vader. It's hilarious. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I love this sculpture. That's fun. 
Originally founded in 1931 as a community for the workers building Hoover Dam, Boulder City was the first planned community in Southern Nevada. It was a federal reservation. Only workers associated with the building and the operation of the dam could live in the new community. Gaming and alcohol were both banned initially, and today Boulder City is the only incorporated city in Nevada where gaming is not allowed. The community grew quickly. The post office opened and the rail lines were completed to the dam site in 1931. The first airport opened in 1933. With the completion of the Boulder Canyon project, the town became the home of dam workers and their families. In 1959, the community was incorporated with a celebration held on January 4, 1960. The land and buildings owned by the federal government were turned over to the new city. Since then, the community has grown, becoming the gateway to Hoover Dam. And this is one of the churches that is native to the construction and establishment of Boulder City. Reverend Cynthia Lewis. Cool. St. Christopher's Episcopal Church. All are welcome. I love that because the church that I grew up in, all were not welcome. So this is a park at the just the very tippy top of Boulder City, Nevada. All of that down there is the center of Boulder City. And right at the top is one of the federal buildings that was built. Look at this. An American dream. The lucky few who got jobs building Hoover Dam were blessed not only with decent wage during the desperate times of the Great Depression, but also a roof over their heads and three meals a day. Boulder City was a dream come true. So you can see we are right there. And all of this area was planned. Planned for the construction of the Hoover Dam. In fact, it was the first federally planned community in the United States in the 1900s. The significance of the Bureau of Reclamation to Boulder City is reflected by the location of the administration building of the town's highest hill. During the Great Depression of the 1930s, those who looked uphill from the new town that fanned out below saw hope. Reclamation water projects created jobs and delivered the water and power that the West needed for economic recovery. So apparently, down in this area, this historic area, many of the streets are named after all a bunch of the Western states, Colorado, California, Utah, Wyoming, Nevada. These are all the states that the Colorado River passes through. I actually went down to Hoover Dam today. I actually hadn't planned on going to Hoover Dam, but when I was looking at the map, it dawned on me I could get down there on my scooter, and so I thought, well, why not? Why not spend an extra day and go down to Hoover Dam? Since I was in Boulder City, Nevada, the entire reason for Boulder City, Nevada being here is because of Hoover Dam, and why not go explore it? <laughs> not news but it's still really pretty I love the way that the blue reflects the mountains and creates sort of purples and browns in the water Wow check this out it is beautiful but oh man look how low the lake is This is such an interesting pattern, the water meeting the land. So I guess down there is an old railroad tunnel that you can go into. People are hiking down there. Oh, and a little critter down there. Critter cam. Oh, there are a couple of them. 
Oh, <laughs> they're cute. the Hoover Dam. That is so impressive. What I find interesting is sort of the design aesthetic. It's a sort of an art deco design aesthetic that actually echoes what you see at Parker Dam because these were designed around the same time. And that's the thing, you can see this design aesthetic from the 1920s and 30s in it. This sort of art deco approach or style, it really adds something to the dam. Davis Dam up near uh, Bullhead City has none of it and it's just kind of uninteresting. So there you can clearly see the Art Deco style from the period. I just think that is so interesting. You come up to this huge structure and they just have these design elements to it that are really cool. You can see the spillway over here. I guess this is like an emergency spillway area, I guess. That spillway is really quite impressive. It's huge. Like a lot of water could go down there. Unfortunately, there is no water right now to go down there. If you see water flowing in this spillway, you are witnessing an historic event. The last time the waters of the Colorado River flowed through this spillway was 1983. Ronald Reagan was president and gasoline cost 93 cents a gallon. Wow. You know, the thing that strikes me about this is it totally looks like it's something out of Star Wars. Like something on the Death Star. It really does. It really is crazy how low the dam is. I remember coming here as a teenager when I lived in Las Vegas and the water was well at the top. It's almost shocking.